All right, so this is video number three. If you're keeping track, we are moving on to the circulatory system. I always have a tendency to do the circulatory system in red, just because in my world that makes sense. All right, and there are three major things we're going to talk about in our circulatory system. We have our aortic arches, we have our dorsal blood vessel, and our ventral blood vessel. And we'll review these two terms when we get to those. All right, so first of all, some of you may have heard that earthworms have five hearts. That's not entirely true. They have an organ that's referred to as aortic arches. They are responsible for pumping blood. So in other words, they act as a heart. Okay, and yes, if you want to go ahead and abbreviate, you are more than welcome to. So our aortic arches pump blood. They act as a heart. Um, they are going to be a little brownish in color. Think of it this way. Our earthworms have uh, not been living for quite some time. So that means the blood inside of them has kind of dried. And if you get a cut or a scab and it dries up, you notice it kind of goes from bright red to kind of this brownish red color. So that's why our blood that you're going to see in our aortic arches is going to be a brownish red color. It's not going to be bright, bright red. Okay. All right. So if we go back to our picture, your aortic arches surround your esophagus and there are five of them. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, connect them all on the top, connect them all on the bottom. If you want to get really fancy schmancy, you can add the line that would go on the other side that you're not going to see that's going to disappear on the back and so that you know that there's one on the front and one on the back. So it kind of makes a cage around our esophagus and that's why the esophagus is kind of hard to see because the aortic arches are on top. All right. Okay, next up are two blood vessels. We had a dorsal blood vessel and a ventral blood vessel. Remember we talked about the difference between dorsal and ventral. Ventral is the belly side, dorsal is the back side. So as we look at our worm, and here's our friend the frog again. As we look at our worm this way, ventral is going to be the belly side, so it's going to be down here. And dorsal is going to be the back side, which is going to be on the top. But as you do your dissection, as you cut through, the first thing you're going to see is the dorsal blood vessel because you're going to be cutting right next to it. And you will have to do a little digging to find the ventral blood vessel because it's the belly side. Okay, So our dorsal blood vessel carries blood, obviously, but it carries blood forward to the aortic arches. All right, and then as you can imagine, it loops to the aortic arches, and then it passes through the ventral blood vessel to carry blood to the skin and the intestine. Okay, and if I go too fast, you can always stop and rewind. All right, so there we've got our ventral blood vessel and our dorsal blood vessel. One carries blood forward to the aortic arches, the other one carries blood to the skin and the intestines. So on our diagram, if we go back to this, we've got our aortic arches. Our dorsal blood vessel is going to kind of run all the way that way. It's going to go all the way to the end, and then it's going to circle back on this side and connect right there. Okay, so it makes one big continuous loop. And like I said, I'm cheating and just kind of stopping here, but it does go all the way to the other end. All right. And that's the end of our circulatory system. Oh, and one more thing. Let's go back. I forgot to do this at the beginning. All right. So now I know that everything on my drawing that is part of the circulatory system is in red.